Today I'm going to show you how I go about using my strip allergy ruler. Um, this is a leftover piece of fabric that was, was off of a piece of material. And I thought what I'd do today is cut this up into um, 10 inch squares and then whatever's left over, I'll do something else. As you can see, it's, um, how big is this thing? It's, it's probably close to three quarters of a yard and it is about 19 inches wide. So it's a little bit bigger than a fat quarter. But what I want to show you today is how I go about doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to fold it in half using my salvage to help me find the straight of grain. Once I do that, I'm going to lay it down against my cutting mat. I'm going to scooch it down. That is a technical term, scooch. But you can see right here, I've got salvage and I don't ever want to put my salvage into my work. Now, these are my scrap bins. I have one yard cuts, half yard cuts, quarter yard fat quarters, five inch squares, three and a half inch squares, two inch squares, two and a half inch strips, one and a half inch strips, and two and a half inch squares. So what I'm gonna do is using this, once I get my 10 inch pieces out of it, I will use this as my guide to determine what else I can get out of the pot, out of the piece of fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my stripology ruler, and this is um, 14 inches by 20 inches. So it's really nice to use with things like fat quarters because it's, it's a good size. Now you can see here what's happened. My piece of fabric still isn't big enough to get through here. So I have folded it twice. I'm going to fold it over again, believe it or not. So I'm going to have four layers here. I'm going to put it up as close as I can to the top, maintaining the integrity over here of the salvage all lining up. I'm just going to scooch it down a little bit so that I am lined up with the line on my cutting mat. Now I'll put my ruler back over it again. Okay, now I've got plenty of space. I'm doing good. So I'm going to start at my zero. Okay, and I'm going to make my first cut at 10. And then you can see I don't have enough to go out to 20. So I'm going to take my first cut at zero, and the zero cut is going to remove my salvage. Okay, and I'm lining up my stripology ruler against the bottom right here, and my piece of fabric is already lined up against my mat. So my first cut is at zero. I'm going to take it. There's a little spot to put your rotary blade in, and I'm just gonna cut it. I'm not picking up the mat, I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna come all the way out to 10 for my next one. And then I have got, oh, I think at this point, I'm gonna switch over and just do two and a half inch strips, because those always work for something. So I'm gonna go to my 12 and a half. Then I'm gonna go to my, let's see, 15. Then I'm going to go to my 17 and a half. And then you can see I've only got about an inch left. So I know I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. So I'm going to toss that. Now you can see I have got, oops, I didn't go all the way through. I really think it's time to change my blade. I've got my two and a half inch strips. There's three of them. Those are going to go on my two and a half inch strip bin. And then I've got this big piece. Whoops, and that's my salvage that goes in the trash. I've got my big piece. I'm just going to rotate it right here on my mat. Just give it a little rotation. I'm going to swing my mat back around. Let's swing it back around face up for me, please. And I'm going to lay this down again. I'm going to line it up at the bottom here again. And I'm going to line this edge up as close as I possibly can to the edge because I want to get as much fabric as I possibly can. So I'm going to do my first cut at zero, go all the way through. My next cut is at 10. And then I can go all the way out to 12 and a half. So I was able to get another, two more actually, strips 
of two and a half. I'm gonna take this little excess piece off here and off of here. All right. Then I'm going to remove my two and a half inch pieces and add those to that pile. Now these are my 10 inch blocks. So I do have my 10 inch square and I can double check it by folding it in half like this. So there is my 10 inch, rule, 10 inch squares. These are gonna go into my scrap bucket and that is how I go about using my Stripology ruler. Thanks for joining me today while I did this quick little tutorial on how I use my Creative Grid Stripology ruler. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.